First, the Passover, or Pesach. This feast remembers the last plague in Egypt when the angel of death passed over the children of Israel, who applied the blood of the Lamb to their doors. The 14th of Nisan, on the biblical calendar, is when we enter into the glorious season memorializing the Passover in Egypt 3,500 years ago, when Israel, the Lord's chosen people, were spared death because of the Lamb's blood that was placed over the doorposts and lintels of their homes. This can be referred in Exodus chapter 12, verse 7. The original Passover with Moses was a foreshadowing of our ultimate Passover lamb and deliverer, Yeshua the Messiah. In Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22, the Lord's word proclaims, Without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness of sins. When John the Baptist said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This can be referred in John chapter 1, verse 29. He understood the Old Testament reference. And in the New Testament, we see that Yeshua, born in a stable, visited by shepherds, and led to the slaughter, is that lamb sent for us. His death allows the judgment we deserve to pass over us. Prophecy in the Old Testament, we find it in Leviticus chapter 23, verses 4 to 5. It says, These are the feasts of the Lord, even holy convocations, which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. In the fourteenth day of the first month at even is the Lord's Passover. How fulfilled in the New Testament! We find it in Matthew chapter 26, verses 1 to 2, chapter 27, verses 45, 46, and 50. Verse 1. And it came to pass, when Yeshua had finished all these sayings, he said unto his disciples, verse 2, Ye know that after two days is the feast of the Passover, and the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. Verse 45. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land unto the ninth hour. Verse 46. And about the ninth hour Yeshua cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is to say, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Verse 50. Yeshua, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost.